Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have discussed about this Axios, right? How to send the HTTP request in the Vue.js using Axios, we have seen. And in the previous video, we have seen about the post request. How to do the post request, we have seen. We have created a separate component and we have seen the post request. Now, in this video, what we will try to do is we will try to see the get request also. So, we will try to see the get request and also some of the configuration in the Axios. Now, here, if you see our uh, project, if you see our project, okay, it is running, let it run. <clears throat> in our project, what we have did, we have created a form and we are submitting the post request, right? So, we are submitting the post data. So, if we, if we open this one and here we have a create post and we are adding here. So, sample post or something like this and we are adding the sample post, sample post description, okay? And we are creating a post. But we don't have an idea that whether the uh, what are the list of posts present, we don't have any idea. So now at the bottom of this create post, so we will try to show the tabular form of showing that list of all the posts whatever present in our database we will be showing. So that one we can do it using the get request. So let's try to do it in the in this video. Before continuing to this video, if you are coming first time to here, please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that I will be posting more and more front end development courses. Now here in the components, what I will try to do is I will create a new component post details. Okay. <clears throat> and here I will create a template. And here what I will try to do, I will try to do the script. And here what I will try to do is so here I will write so post post list or post details or something like that. Okay. Post details. This is the basic uh, what i say i can write uh, this is uh, the heading so this one is the heading of the post details now i can go to the app dot view and here i can write i uh, between uh, below this one okay below this one i can make it as a view and i can write the post here and here <coughs> in this one i can write post details so this is the component post details so class is equal to my hyphen 2 so that means top and bottom y axis it will apply margin of 2 rem so here what i can do import post details from the components post details so this is the basic uh, importing the component and here i can write the post details so i have so this is the introduction for the component so how we can include the component we can see so here you will be able to see the post details now here i need to show the data what i can do is we can go to the post details and now we can write here export default here i can write the data and here i can write the object okay what are the properties needed for this one so i can create one post details it is one array okay it is a type array and here what i will write is here we will be having mounted whenever this post uh, component is uh, mounted so we will be we will be getting the get post details okay we will write a method here and uh, in the methods we can write get post details so this is the method instead of writing the code here i am writing one method and in that method i am writing the code so here we need to include axios okay axios dot get so axios imported here whatever the name we are write, importing here the name whatever the name you are using you need to use it here you can write it small or small anything whatever you want the post we have used the small letter c so that is the reason we have used, we, uh, automatically it is imported like that so we, we can use it as capital also so now i am using the get request here okay the same name and here dot then of response okay and you can write here console.log response so let's try to check that response what is the response we are getting let's try to see the response so we are getting the post request and in the app dot view we are importing this post details component so in the post detail component in the mounted only we are calling this post details and let's try to see the output so if i go to inspect element if i try to go to inspect element if i try to console okay if i try to see the output okay, now we got the c we got an ajax request okay successfully the ajax request has been done and here in the data you'll be having all the data see same in the angular how we have did for the fire uh, firebase thing right so see in the same scenario we are getting the key value pair okay if you try to print response dot data 
okay response dot data and if you try to refresh this one and you will get the data c is an object so what we need is we need we need the data something like array of object but we are here we are getting of object of object right so object consisting inside object so let's try to format this one so we can write another method this dot format post okay this dot format post details i am writing another method and i will send the response dot data to that method and here in this one methods we can write like directly format post details <coughs> here i will be getting the posts right so what i will try to do i will loop over each one for let post as it is an object we need to use in so here it will become key you will be getting the each key in the post and here what i will try to do is this dot post details dot push okay so i will be using the spread operator and i will use something like like this and post of key so all the details it will be inserted and also i will i want the id right so i can use the id is equal to key okay so this is the object so now what i will try to do i will try to print the post details so these are all things we have already discussed about the spread operators in our javascript es6 courses so if you have any doubts about this one how i am doing this one all you can see it in the es6 courses and all those things okay so this uh, this one is spread operator so this post of key everything the post uh, object will be converted to object and here i am doing a big object now what i will try to do is if i refresh this one now if you try to print the see this is the path this is these are the this is an array actually as actually vue.js mostly depends on the proxy proxy also about the proxies also we have discussed in the es6 course so we have reflection proxies they reflect and your proxies we will be having so as vue.js as it most as it mainly depends on the proxies so that is the reason we are getting area also as a proxy okay so these are the description id title so each uh, object is having like this and now we can loop over this post details here okay so here i can use the table class is equal to table so i can use something like classical table and here i can use t head i can use tr and th it will be something like id and here i can add the title and here i can add the description so this is the t head and here i can go t body and i can have tr so this tr i need to loop over using the vi fun for directive so i can write post in post details okay we are having this post details right so this is the post details and here we need to use the key key we can use post dot id already we have a unique one post dot id we can use direct like this and td i can use post dot id and here i can use post dot title and this one another one is the post dot description so this is how we can use the table and now if i go here and if i refresh this one if i see we are able to see all the post details here so now how we are displaying this one in the post details this one is responsible okay now what i will try to do is in the firebase i will try to remove all those things i will try to remove all the post details okay, whatever the data i am getting from the post from the firebase i will remove all the data so get started let's go to the get started and here if i open this view complete course and in this view complete course okay in the real time database i can go to the uh, post details okay so i can delete entire thing so oh, let's wait yeah i can delete the all the post data so i'm having so now if i try to refresh this one so i will be not getting any data so fine it's perfect now i will try to add some sample post okay so i added the post but in down i am not able to see if i refresh this one i will be able to see you see here now i am able to see so why this is happening is so here in the app dot view so we are adding the post but the post details is already initialized the company is already initialized so that is the reason so after adding the post we are not able to see so how we can show the data so why what is happening here is so we have already discussed so the both the components are initializing at the same time so that means so when the create post form is initialized only immediately the post details form we are getting from the database and we are showing that one so first time it will be not there so now what what we need to do is here 
when immediately the create post is added again we need to get the data from the database again and we need to show the post details so that is the one one type of approach how what we can do or another approach what we can do is after immediately adding this data okay we need to uh, instead of calling to the database again immediately uh, uh, all the time making the calls instead of uh, uh, calling uh, calling the database again so we will be get sending the data from the post to the post details okay from through the communication and in this post details we will be pushing it into the post details array okay so instead of calling that one okay so afterwards when we refresh the page automatically it will call from the database and we will get the updated data so this is second type of, of approach that is the uh, because we can do the performance thing so it will improve the performance but now we will approach the first approach only that means after creating the immediate post we will be calling the data again so this, this method also we can do it in the vue.js different approaches so just i will do you do the uh, sample uh, easy approach what we can do is for example here in the app.view so we got the data when whenever in the post.view immediately if it is submitted just throw an event okay so dollar dot emit post created okay so we will be emitting an event post created and here in the app.view so what we can do is here at the rate post created okay so whenever the post created on create post will be executed on create post when this method is executed so methods we can write on create post here it will be executed now here what i will try to do is i will try to create a uh, property data okay this is the shortcut method something like uh, uh, so now show posts okay we will be having show posts default it will be true okay show post means whenever this one is true only we need to show this vi if and if show posts okay now here what i will write on create posts what i will try to do is this dot show posts is equal to false i will do the false and immediately set timeout what i will try to do is i will add a set timeout and here what i will try to do this dot show posts sorry this dot show posts is equal to true i will make it as a true <coughs> within a short short span 100 or 50 or something like that okay so now what it will happen is so whenever the post is created immediately the component will be uh, destroyed and again this component will be created when this component is created again this method uh, mounted this post details will be called and again we will be getting the updated data this is one type of approach and otherwise what we can do is we can send a property to this one so prop using the props we can send the data and here we can watch or we can do whatever the thing you want and we can uh, we can call again this this dot get post details okay there, are, there will be so many ways of approaching uh, approach details or otherwise you can completely take this component and you can keep it in the uh, post component here in this post component uh, entirely you can keep this post details you can keep, you can keep inside this post component so whatever the way is approach is clear for you you can do for me i am doing for that just i am showing you another way of approach this one okay now if i try to so here we are getting an error so what is the error so here we need to keep the comma okay we need to keep the comma i keep the comma and here i will try to refresh this one if i try to refresh okay now i will create sample post okay sample post and here also i will write sample post and here i will try to create a post see it is uh, the, the post the entire component is refreshed here again so the page is not refreshing if you see the page is not refreshing. only the post details is getting updated okay so this is the way how we can communication component how we can do the thing and also axios get request how we can do the get request in the vue.js okay using the axios so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you